It's Halloween, and that can only mean one thing. Jack Freddy. Lynn. Okay, that can only mean two things. Trick or treat it. God damn it. Can I just get to I'll just get to it. It's Halloween, and so the Bro 4 Squad podcast is here to do another world famous movie commentary on the Halloween, not even afraid to say classic, Freddy vs. Jason. That's right. Two Ooh. iconic horror villains come together in one cinematic masterpiece, and we are here to watch the movie along with you. I'm your host, Jeff Hornacek. The voice you just heard was our legal counsel, Ronnie Cycli. Ronnie, gosh, this is a big one, man. Are you scared, excited, all the above? I, I don't. I obviously did not get the check from director Ronnie Yu that you received to uh, overly compliment this movie. So uh, maybe it's in the mail. I don't know. <laughs> but actually, it was it, it was pretty big. The check he sent me. Maybe he sent me your portion also. <laughs> That might be it, because uh pretty sure I saw this movie one time when I was a teenager. And uh, if me as a teenager told you something was stupid, then I can only imagine how stupid it was. Because I thought everything was awesome back then. It was, and we'll get into this as we watch it, the definition of a makeout movie, right? A movie you go to in theaters because no one else is going to be there. So you can just make out with your significant other or... Yeah, I never, I never did. Did you ever have a girl to make out with? No, I didn't. But I mean, I'm sure a lot of the cool people would just tell me that's what they did. I just right. We have our movies paused at the about 12 second mark with the New Line Cinema logo fully up on screen. So if you don't have your DVD, Blu-ray, whatever you're watching this on, there, just uh, pause us. Get it to that 12 second mark because we are going to press play and watch Freddy vs. Jason along with you in three. Two, one, play. And if you don't have the DVD, buy it below. Buy it. We'll put a link below because uh, there's two beautiful discs in this. Let me <laughs> tell you, you read the back, it tells you an amazing description of this film. Freddy Krueger is in hell. Literally. Yep. I'm not just saying that that's what the description of the movie says, just so you know. And you know it's bad because there's not even one quote from a critic or anyone on the DVD cover about how good of a movie it is. Which is <laughs> pretty rare. We start here, of course, as most movies do, with someone uh, with the furnace from Home Alone. Yeah, this is his uh, second big movie after Home Alone. He fame was really going to his head at this point. So Robert England, who plays Freddy Krueger, uh, this was actually the final film in which he played Freddy. Was he just uh, cast out, or was he just you know old age and decided to retire on the high note? I think a little bit of both. So they did actually um, reboot the franchise. Let me look up the name of the guy who played him. He played Rorschach in Watchmen. Oh, yeah, that's him. Yeah, I think he only made one movie, though. That's Freddy. That's a great movie, by the way. It is very underrated. I'll say that. Jackie Earl Haley played Freddy. Yeah, so this was Robert England's last turn, and apparently this was a movie he'd been wanting to get made for. Okay, the makeup looks pretty fucking creepy. I'll say that. Looks like my ex-wife. <laughs> That's awesome that she, yeah, got into role in this, but I gotta imagine, you know, they... I don't know what it made in the box office, but I do remember when it came out. It was pretty... Especially among the teenage generation in the horror genre film. Like, everyone was excited about having these two in this. So we're getting what a montage here of Freddy fucking killing yeah, everyone. That's so yeah from the other movies, right? I believe so. It's I think Johnny Depp's first film was actually one of the oh, Friday the Thirteenth. Look at that! Jesus, I forgot about holy shit! I forgot about a lot of these. This is uh, this is graphic. This is how you get fucking started. I, you know, I kind of feel like I want to talk to my mom after all that. Just call her and be like, hey, I'm, we both said some things. <laughs> mom, I apologize for any time. I... <laughs> Look at that. The teeth, oh. the blood. I think that's Gollum. I, I think I, it's from Lord of the Rings right here. Now, Brian Banner, we had a huge issue with him calling Jason, calling Michael Myers Jason. So let's hope that that doesn't happen. Since he's not on the pod, let's hope that we don't... Well, this, she just said Mike, so, I mean, maybe Michael Myers is coming. And I, as these oh, movies yeah, always can't do... Some, are, what's that? That we get tits pretty much right away to those hold our attention. fake-ass tits, too. Yeah, how much do you think she paid for those? <laughs> I 
I bet you uh, Ronnie Yu paid for him, from what I've read about him. How much of the production budget was those breast implants? <laughs> Half. The rest of the movie is basically like just. Did she just say it's not? So it's not funny you. anymore because that is like the cliche horror trope. It's not funny anymore. It was funny for a while. Yeah, the fake murdering each other. We all got a good laugh out of that one. But honestly, guys. Man, she is getting a lot of screen time. I was going to say, since we showed her tits earlier, why aren't we showing them now? Like, we don't have an aversion to them. Ronnie Yu doesn't show tits unnecessarily. He does it to show a point. Okay, here they're just out for no reason. That kind of... <laughs> so this is Jason, of course. The thing I love about Jason is he never has to sprint to catch up to you. Can you who would win a race between Jason and Michael Myers? <laughs> Well, if Michael Myers, like, looked at Jason and then turned around and ran without keeping eye contact with him, then probably Jason. I would, I would, I would, I would definitely watch that race. Who, did you, between the two, I mean, were you a, uh, Freddy or Jason? I mean, did you have preferences? Like, were you rooting for one? I mean. I remember liking the Friday the 13th movies more. I didn't really watch hardly any of the Nightmare on Elm Street ones. Yeah, I think that was the same way. It's just a tree. You're okay. <laughs> though i think freddy for me was always like as, as a kid when i was younger the idea of freddy was scarier oh my gosh the idea that like the second you fall asleep someone's yeah. gonna kill you it's like gone girl but 10 times worse because you know i like when you were younger like bad dreams ha happen still like but they're not as oh there you go talk about raw strength right there but, My you know, God. as as a kid, man, horror, you know, dr dreams were the worst. Like, if you had a bad dream, it would destroy you. Wait, oh, is this a fucking dream, too? Is it, isn't Freddy manipulating? It's been so long since I've seen this. I don't know if he is yet, though. This might be a dream Jason is having, because I think that's his mom, who he oh, does not have, yeah. does well, not have a great right, relationship yeah. with. I think it's, is it Freddy's the mom? Like his actual birth mother? or No, like in, like he's messing with her, him, right? I don't know, I'm trying to remember. So there's this drug, and if you're watching at home and you're like, God damn it, this is what happens. I'm sorry, we haven't seen this movie in a while, so part of the fun and the experience will be, what the fuck happens again? <laughs> yeah. But there is some drug called like hypnosin that kids are taking to have them not dream. That's right. On Elm I'll, Street. Like, forget about it. Right. right, but it's it's like neutering a lot of their other senses, which makes them easier for Jason to kill them. Like, they basically become, like, stupider, I think. I feel like this scene right there was, like, in um, in Power Rangers with Rita Rapunzel, go, let my monster grow! And he just, like, comes out of... The way he came out of the ground and opened his eyes was very... I mean, it's never a bad idea to take inspiration from... Power Rangers. <laughs> this is a title sequence right here. Jesus Christ. That was unnecessary, man. So obviously this blood doesn't count because it is digital, but let me get the quote from director Ronnie Yu on how much blood was used for this. According to director Ronnie Yu, and this is from IMDb, so as always with the Horns Fun Facts, if I'm wrong, go fucking throw the flaming bag of shit on their doorstep instead of mine, please. Uh, the special effects team used 300 gallons of fake blood for this movie. I've bet one of the guys at one point, though, was, like, bringing the blood in, and he just tripped and fell and spilt, like... It, it's like the Office episode where Kevin spills his chili. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> Kevin was on the crew. There's Kelly Rowland of Destiny's Child fame. Oh, yeah. This is her. She tried to make it big like uh, like Beyonce. Never really did. What's the difference between her and Beyonce besides talent and looks and charisma? And Yeah, Beyonce has none of it. Exactly. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're drinking beer. Probably who's under the, it. Who's the other girl? She looks familiar. Uh, the... She kind of looks like the chick from Big Daddy, but she's not. I only smoke when I drink now. I've been there. <laughs> okay. So, what's going to happen... If you don't mind me foreshadowing here, someone's going to have sex, and then they're going to get murdered. Well, I mean, everyone should know that a virgin doesn't die. 
you know, Correct. that's why I survived as long as I did. Like, I never had sex as a teenager. So yeah, I, but I don't, know if, else. I don't know if that was intentional, though. No, I, 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 I made the choice to, you know, not have sex. Uh-oh, more beer. <laughs> and Lance, quarterbacks of the football team. I don't know that his name is Lance, but I'm guessing. I think his name is Trey. Yeah, my subtitles aren't working right now, so just keep me filled I, in. I love the fact that he just literally was annoyed at his girlfriend kissed someone he smoked. Like, like she's like, hey, don't kiss me when you smoke. Like, he seems like a high school douche. Like, surprised. Good for him to be against smoking. Cycling, yeah. I was going to say, this guy is just trying to be a good, a positive role model in her life. And based on some of the choices we've seen the first two minutes, she could use a few of those. Yeah, especially she, of the male variety. Did Kelly Rowland do another movie? I got to ask. Do you have any idea? That's a really good question. Let me look it up. Now I can't find my phone either. Oh my god, this is how god. it starts. Oh my god. Dude, during <laughs> the dream. More like a nightmare. Kelly Rowland is, if I remember right though, she actually is like the smart one in this movie. She makes the most prudent decisions. She is Destiny's child, so. Uh, as an actress, she actually has 91 credits. What? A lot of random TV work. Oh, yeah. Like three episodes here, two episodes there. Oh, yeah. Teenage sex. Oh, yeah. There's always kind of like our chopping mall movie commentary. Check that out below. But there's the one couple that are just horn dogs. And then there's the other couple that's like where the guy is, you know, trying to be respectful and win over the girl on his first date with the girl and she's a little shy and this guy's kind of smothering her though so they made popcorn are they watching anything on tv or are they just no sometimes that you just gotta eat popcorn for dinner man i always just love that like in high school like people didn't give a shit like hey we're gonna have sex in front of our friends no big deal dude wasn't that so weird i like people would just make out in a group of other people <laughs> Yeah, could you imagine as adults now that happening? You're just like, eh, <laughs> yeah, you're at like a wine tasting party, and that starts. You're like, like dude, gross! This. You guys are married. Why are you kissing? Yeah, get a fucking room. Oh wait, you have one. So the power's gone out, right? Well, of course. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. Do this you is what... like murders are going around, and they're like, "Come on, just one storm that knocks the power out. Come on." They're like, damn, these power lines are too secure. It's been two years since we've had a power outage. Well, at least they're putting our tax dollars in the right place. So she's like, look, I'm not into him, and I'm not some object. And Kelly Rowland's like, well, I made popcorn, so as long as you don't get in on this, you can... You want to be cool, right? Whose house is this? Because this guy's just going carte blanche on the fridge. Yeah, dude, like... You know, you know, you always had that friend come over, make like you make a sandwich without asking. You're like, um, get some. Beers. What are you doing? Yeah. How do you I have a friend politely... named Mark who ate like six hot dogs at your house once? Yeah, I do. <laughs> More so, felt bad for him. Jason's already in the house, bro. It's over. Yeah, also, another thing about horror movies, they do kind of make it easy. Not that, like, a locked door would stop Jason, but that door was probably just, oh, my gosh, what is, what's happening up here? That is, that, yep, there you go. Are they just going to walk oh, in there? Man, get to it. They're a little busy, ladies. I just love the, like, they're like, hey, power's out. They have no consequential. We're just going to bang in here. And no, what do you guys he doesn't like being touched afterwards. <laughs> she does. Seriously. She does know that though that he doesn't like being touched after. Like I, I don't. Isn't that like a normal like? Horror? I always love that in teenage horror movies. Like the woman always showers after sex. If you're the guy, I'd be a little bit offended. Oh, you need to yeah. fucking wash me off of you? Yes, Chris, I do. You're disgusting. Probably it says more about you than it's going It's to two-a-days for rugby practice. This is very sexy, Ronnie You the... <laughs> Ronnie You man. There's, there we go. Ronnie You had a thing for tits. <laughs> well, fake tits, especially. Yeah. It's like, oh, are those real? <laughs> like, yeah, when we can the casting job. 
<laughs> you have nothing like beer. And Jason's like, Bush Light. Fuck that. <laughs> oh, my God. Jason, this is Jason, incredible. Only drink Michelob. <laughs> It's the best alcohol by volume per carb combination you could possibly get. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, my God. I can't believe <laughs> this is exactly what I wanted from this Christ. movie. I'm telling you. Chris, it's not funny. Trey. Trey. Okay, Trey. Sorry. Oh, there's here comes that 300 gallons of blood. <laughs> yeah, here, here was about half of it. He's honestly, cycling. I think if we can get him to the hospital, no, he's fine. <laughs> what would your reaction be if you walked in on that? Like the just the physics of this, I'd be like, I'm very confused at what just transpired in here. I bet Trey's friend is like, okay, okay. No, so, he's been doing yoga. <laughs> so technically, are you single now? She's like, what? He's been doing yoga. It's just, uh, you know. I'm just wondering, like, do you think? And God rest Trey's soul, but. What does that leave you and I? The, I hope one of the cops is like, it looks like a murder. Well, <laughs> yeah, we got that part. Oh, because I think he was murdered. The, the police like try to cover it. Yeah, they're trying to cover it up, right? They, uh, they don't want people to think like Jason or Freddie are is back. No, the second people think Jason's back in town, panic starts. We don't want that. That cop, that cop is in a lot of stuff. The one they just showed. Yeah. Like the... Who is he? I was going to say something when they pulled him, when they ran up to his car. He looks he's, like someone. He's in stuff. I'll say that. Yeah, he's made appearances and things. <laughs> Gotta love the frosted tips. The early 2000s. Look, just because he's a cop doesn't mean he doesn't like getting pussy. God damn it, who is that guy? He's like a character actor. I'm not going to look it up, but if you're at home and you want to comment below and tell us who he is, we would appreciate it. Again, the Bro4 Squad kind of prides ourselves on not looking these things up. <laughs> Knowledge is not what we're here for. Information. No. We're just here to get drunk and watch bad movies. Was she, like, really close to Trey? It seemed like he was a bit of an asshole. It was a... But there, she's more worried about, you know, winning state this year. Which is what she should be fucking focused on. <clears throat> See, now, I believe she's asleep right now. And this is a dream. You're right. I mean, it has to be right. I mean, how does the police department just disappear? Unless there was cake in the break room. That's the only possible well, way. I just want... I, I don't know if I'll be able to sleep after. Look at those boobs. Oh my god. You might be a little bit ahead of me. No, I don't no, know. no. It, and there's no boobs. I'm just saying in her shirt. Like, Yeah, I feel like Ronnie you, Ronnie, you had a specific look he was going for. Like, that girl's going to have back pain one day. The last missing poster was empty, Cycli. Is that art? I, I, you know what would have been a really good effect by Ronnie you there? For her to look at the camera, kind of, and her back of her head is in the middle of that poster. Oh, damn. Like he missed a shot, man. Maybe that's that, why... He... That would have got this movie from four to four and a half stars, I think. We might have gotten a critic's quote on the back of the DVD cover. <laughs> what is this girl from? Because I remember her from earlier. Oh, my God. I see her point. <laughs> This is dark. That's nice Look, that he loves children and little girls. Uh, I don't... I, okay, I don't know if that's what they're going for. That's. I mean, they're saying that's good that he's caring. My God, her boobs take up half the screen. So are we going to go, like, just a little bit of tennis here? Like, Freddy will kill someone. Jason will kill someone. I guess the first kill, I guess we could say, is like a tandem kill, that one in the forest. See, if I'm Freddy and Jason, like, I would like to point systems. Like, you know, like, are, you know, athletes worth more? Are little kids worth more or less? Like, right. not, not one kill is all equal. Or is it? I don't know. Someone tell me. I don't think they're all created equal. <clears throat> like, killing Trey, 
I mean, clearly Jason, I think, just thought Trey was a dickhead because there were a bunch of other people in the house, you know? Yeah, why did why him, you know? Like, is he just, did he bet on the football game? Why did they let her just sleep in the interrogation room? <laughs> well, she dozed off. Hate to wake her. Did this guy have, like, a really good relationship with Trey and now it's... Dad, I don't want to fucking talk about it. The dad's like, don't we don't show emotions in this household. We're men. You are a varsity fallback. You don't cry. I don't want your life. Let me sit on this fucking porch swing and deal with my emotions my own way. Also, flasks are you... I mean, I have flasks, but I can't say I use them half as much as I ever see in movies. Flasks this are used guy, all the time. This guy has used his more in the first, what... Yeah, 18 you, minutes of this movie than I've ever used mine. There's no way he ha he it's like not empty. <laughs> I'm sure he refilled off screen. There's deleted scenes of just him. It's just him pouring whiskey back into his. <laughs> that is what this too is. <laughs> Special features. <laughs> <laughs> Chris refills his flask at four different intervals in the movie. Who knows how difficult it is to fill a flask? Like it's him spilling and then wiping it up. And Ronnie, you fought for that in the editing process. He's like, guys, we need this. This is important character stuff that people aren't going to understand. Just look at these effects. My God. Jesus. I actually do like the shot of Freddy down the street. That's How much does it suck to be Freddy if you have an itch on your back, though, and you use those? You got to find, like, a tree or something. Like, oh, God damn it! I forgot about these claws. See, so Freddy's starting to realize, like, fuck, man, it's hard for me to kill these damn kids. How do I reach these kids? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Dad? I think you're a little bit ahead of me. I think I will pause it for two seconds. <laughs> yeah, you did not yeah, get Yeah, he reach. just caught his head in his lap, and now Jason's like, hey, bro. All right, there we go. Because <laughs> I was did, like, wow, he did not get that reaction. <laughs> see, so I guess where we lose all the gallons of blood could be like if that take right there took like a couple different sh attempts. I think we're at least 100 gallons in so far. Yeah, so this is the pill that kids are taking that either they don't dream with it or... I mean... It doesn't seem like that extreme of a drug if it just makes you stop dreaming. Like, yeah, no, it'd be fine unless you're Freddy Krueger. That's Jason R or uh, John Ritter's son, Jason. That's true. Oh, I can see that. Yeah. Why? Are you, why is he taking order? Hey, turn it up, man. Like, dude, you're in a psych ward. Why would I listen to? Yeah, you? bro, this isn't an Applebee's. You don't fucking make demands. He just wants to, he's like, I took the over. Can you go to the Knicks game for two seconds? Yeah, another piece of advice, if you're already in a mental institution, don't, like, freak out, you know? <laughs> I'm fine, man. <laughs> I do like in the background all the crazy people, the way they're walking. I was like, that is what crazy people walk like. That's where the director really has to earn his paycheck <laughs> because that's the stuff that we don't see but we feel, you know? You know, that's probably why Ronnie Yu's taking so much time off between these movies. Like, he's doing so much research. So we're getting a recap of some other movies. Lori's dad killed his wife, got killed in the same house, something like that. <laughs> you think this guy's going to move his back row? Ever? <laughs> no, not at all, man. He knows what he's doing. Can you imagine the, the robe is a very symbolic notion of a, of a crazy person as well. Can you imagine the freak out in an insane asylum if one guy was playing checkers and didn't move his back row? <laughs> the other guy's like, like, why do you play, man? That's why he got put in there in the first place. <laughs> it's a chicken shit move. I don't care if it works. That's nice that there are roommates in the sa insane asylum, though. Hey, let's take these two insane guys who have the same story. Let's put them together. That will help clear it up. Yeah, I'm sure that'll serve their rehabilitation very well. So is he off the hook for his little freak out at the pill counter? His buddy pulled him away in time? Yeah. 
clearly the uh, staff there just let him like they, he learned his lesson. Was that thing the guy laid out that kind of looked like those old like CD holder cases? Did that have like all the oh a good <laughs> ass? No, and but the... hey, Ronnie doesn't discriminate. He likes his butts and his asses. I mean <laughs> boobs and asses. That's true, but he only likes the male asses. <laughs> This guy loves his little needle case, man. That's where how he gets his power, man. Have you ever been dragged where, like, your feet drag on the floor like that? It's like a classic movie trope. I love it. I, I can't say I ever have. Have you? No. One day, though. Oh, uh, what a genius move. What a move. God. He's one step ahead of the fucking staff here. So he got his keys and his badge? Yeah, man. You gotta escape. No one will notice. Because they're gonna save everybody from uh, Friday and Jason. See, this is why I don't drink orange juice, bro. You don't know what anyone's putting in your drink. No. Why does she need medication? Is this the anti-dream medicine? Oh, maybe it is. I think it's everyone on Elm Street, you know, needs this. I I just don't understand why they're so, like, protective of it. If, like, why won't, can't you just tell me, hey, man, there's a murderer who kills you in your dreams? Take this and you won't dream. Like, why do they have to hide it from people? Yeah, that's a, that seems pretty straightforward. As is the case in most movies, if we just communicated with one another, like, I think we'd be okay. Now if he's going to do something to her, that's a different, oh, there we go. Dad, I don't, f I said no pulp. What is about that is so hard? That fuck drinks pulp. Freaks drink pulp, man. He's like, that's worse than being a murderer, Kate. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow, they made up pretty quick. That was um, a little too central way to kiss your dad, right? That was very, uh, again, Ronnie Yu. He knows what he wants. <laughs> At least have your orange juice before. If anyone is that pressuring me to drink something, I get suspicious. Hey, you haven't drank this yet. I'm, I'm fine. No, yeah, but you should drink your tea. No, I'm um, okay. Yeah, people, when they're, like, pushing you, like, it goes beyond being hospitable. Like, no, really, drink it. Okay, bro, do you, like, own the tea company? I don't want it. You're more passionate about me drinking this than you. So this is in Elm Street, right? Yeah. I gotta be honest right now, I think they're doing a pretty good job of, like, weaving in and out the two uh, killers. Yeah, they have. I, I would just say this girl uh, is smoking again, and still wearing the same hat as last night. If it ain't broke, cycle, don't fix it. Also, like, in all honesty, would you have, would you, okay, let's say we were at a house party, or not even a house party, just a group of friends in high school, and one of them died. Would you be at school the next day? No. No, nah, I don't think I would be. Especially if you were fucking them when they, like, three minutes before they got killed. Yeah, I guess I gotta get up to go to school. Mom's making me go. <laughs> fucking mom. Wait, this kid's in a lot of shit, too. He looks like a, like, a kid who would play Paul Rudd in a movie earlier. Like, you know, they, like, oh my God, back yeah. to Paul Rudd as a kid. He looks like Paul Rudd before he realized that he had charisma. Granted, this is, what, 16 years ago, this movie? Also, what do you fucking Jim Tressel? Get the sweater vest off, dude. You know that kid has, like, a sweater vest and matching long sleeve polo, like, a butt <laughs> for every combination. Everyone is way too good of a mood for, like, the star quarterback of the team dying. What is this, his mixtape? <laughs> I could use a few frozen drinks because my boyfriend died. I don't think you're allowed to wear hats in school, though. That's what I'm really taking issue with. Yeah, what's the and I know, on top of her head? <laughs> I know it seems like a small violation, but cycle, we let him wear hats in school. What's the next rule they try to break? Yeah, murder in school. Exactly. That's probably the next one, right? <laughs> I mean, look, it's already happening, to be honest. Oh, Do you shit. think that She's about Freddy. She's like, so we have to worry about the hockey mask dude who folded Chris in half and now Freddy Krueger? Do you when think that bed Do you think that bed was a fold up bed or was Jason just that what strong? What if the whole like the, like everyone doesn't realize the bed was a fold up bed and it malfunctioned? 
<laughs> and that's the whole thing. And everyone's like, there's a murder on the list. Like, no, the, the, the manufacturer is actually getting sued from a lot of people for... Or what if one guy's like, plus, guys, he was drinking Bush Light. I mean, what quality what life... Coming? What quality life are we preserving? Wasn't this guy in a mental institution four seconds ago? Yeah, isn't that why they escaped to tell everyone about it? Oh, they escaped. That's right. For some reason, I thought they just let him out. I mean, I know it's a really complex move. I understand why you would miss that. Ronnie Yu does such good, you know, diversion tactics to keep you guessing. Subtext. Subtext. I would escape from a mental This is the longest passing period in between classes I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> yeah, we can. We barely had enough passing periods to go take a piss. <laughs> She's looking at him like he's dead. No, you knew I was in a mental institution. You just never came and visited me. Which is kind of a bitch move, but it's whatever. I'm willing to I'm willing to give this another shot, but we need to talk about that. Was this her medication that made her pass out? No, oh, there they go, running again. Yeah, maybe. Or is he she just shocked to see him? Again, why are they even having school? Like I swear if someone died like that. I think they would be like, hey, we're going to take the day off and have, like, you know, counseling. Cycling. Like, there's only two built-in snow days, and we already had that one in January, remember? Where's the assembly? Fine. Give me the assembly where they're saying, like... It's fourth period. And we had to have that 36-minute passing period, so it got even further delayed. The red hair for Kelly Rowland, was that... Just for this movie? I feel like that was a look she had all the time. No, she... I re, not, not that I would only stay up watching Destiny's Child videos, but I kind of remember her having the red hair. At least for some of that stuff. It's called fashion. She Why was, are there so many tits in this school magazine? <laughs> Ronnie, you, man. Damn. Freddy. Whoa! Jesus! That's a nose That's, job, am I oh, right? damn it, I was going to talk about a nose job. Beat you to it, bruh. you got to be quick on this pod cycle. You fucking sleep for a second. And just like Freddy Krueger, I take I you advantage of you. He's like, bro, I don't want Diet Coke. I've told you, there's aspartame in it. It's so bad for you. <laughs> they will kill you before Freddy does. <laughs> Are these cops here because they got word those dudes were there, or is this just, like, standard? Yeah, I think they're looking for them. I gotta say, though, if these two high school kids that clearly used to go to this high school escaped a mental institution, wouldn't that kind of be, like, the first place you'd look for them? Yeah, going to the school. One thing I love in movies is the, the public library research scene. I, I just never... I've been, I mean, obviously, we don't do it as much today with the internet, but this was 2003. I would go to libraries. I don't think I ever saw that scrolling newspaper thing. Oh, you never saw every newspaper from the town forever? Yeah. To look back on? I mean, I'm sure it exists. <laughs> if you walked into a public library now and asked for this, they'd be like, dude, this isn't a fucking movie from the early aughts. We don't <laughs> like, have um, any of that. You can Where Google it. <laughs> Where and why would we keep 1,100 newspapers? <laughs> I don't know, man. I, what if I'm trying to investigate an old man Withers' wife's disappearance from 1916? <laughs> well, I would tell you don't, is but what I would say. But that's always what happens in the movie, though. Like, this guy's like, we, Freddy Krueger lived around the Salem Witch Trials. Like, dude, this is all information I can find on my fucking cell phone. This guy, the guy who's, like, already balding, even though he's, like, 16, has the angst level of, like, uh, someone that's 34 years old, thrice divorced, and is coming off, like, a cocaine addiction. He's, like, having withdrawals. He's obviously past his midlife crisis already. <laughs> I mean, at that point, like, I would just be like, you know what? Come and get me. I'm done. Yeah. Uh, Jason Ritter needs to say to him, hey, bro, quick question. How do you look 16 but also 38 at the same time? He's like, I don't know, dude. But you know he doesn't get ID when he goes to the bar. That's true. You and I need to look into this black-lighted van. I know we were in the market for one a little while ago for our steakhouse. Well, we had one, and I, it was in your van, and I, I, I did not like what I saw in there. Yeah, it was looked like, a, as Star-Lord would say, it looked like a Jackson Pollock painting. <laughs> looked like Ronnie Yu and his 300 gallons of blood. That is pretty cool, though. Like, that's very 70s, more than early 2000s. 
But you know what is pretty man cavey is uh, like neon beer signs. They should hang some of those up in here. <laughs> it's like strippers, Bud Light. Actually, let's you know, link like, that um, below. I'll link below some cool man cave neon. You can put sign. a little a mini stripper pole for midgets in there. <laughs> that thing would definitely get its use. <laughs> I can't decide, like, obviously this movie was filmed in 2003, but I can't decide, is that when this movie takes place? Because, like, the, I feel like it's almost, I don't know, maybe early 90s, the way it looks, but... And who didn't go to a party in a cornfield? Dude, I wish. I never found out about where they were. Again, the day after the fucking quarterback dies. Cyclic life has to move on. He would want this. Oh, please, Jason, get into this party. They're gonna save that guy, that that guy who's getting bullied, man. I believe that there. I love how this movie is depicting like you don't go to this fucking rave and you're not either rolling face or like getting blacked out drunk. But she's That's there to like. Thing. Like, is this 2003 or 1993? I'm confused. So what's this guy's, like, connection to them? Was he just, like, the nerd at school who never had the balls to talk to him? Yeah, I think, and he, like, maybe he knows something, and he's trying to use this as a, ooh, calling him a bedwetter, damn. That's a little, that's, come on, bro. As they would say in Superbad, people don't forget. <laughs> it's soccer. <laughs> it's soccer, Devin, relax. <laughs> oh, damn. Deep cut. He said he made that insult and immediately regretted. He's like, shit, she's gonna kick my ass. <laughs> yeah, when you're like, oh, that's gonna that's gonna burn deep. Let me uh try and cover it up with a compliment. Some guy named Kruger killed him. <laughs> Let's keep partying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here for slide exposition, but also to fulfill a stereotype. Girl I'm still wearing that fucking hat. <laughs> she likes it. God, you sound so jealous. I just want to know if he takes it off once in this. If movie. I can find that hat for sale, I'll link it in the description too, but I don't even know what the fuck I would search. Since this kid is wearing a bunch of sweater vests, can I link the uh, DVD of the Miami versus Ohio State National <laughs> yeah. Championship game with Jim Dressel? <laughs> oh, now see, see, being mean to her got you to dance with him. God, it always works, man. Nothing. The chick is like, or he was like, hey, look, a mental institution couldn't fix me. She's like, well, maybe I I can fix you. I can fix you. I mean, it's worth a shot. I can change I'm, I'm pretty damaged, though. Here, read this song that I wrote, actually. No, I'm actually, I'm good. So you're not going to read the lyrics. He's like, I just told you I was in a psychotic ward. And she's like, but I don't understand. Uh... So why weren't you texting me back? They take your phones... In the psychiatric, I don't understand. <laughs> hey, let's. let's... <laughs> All she's saying is, I don't understand. I don't know. Let's play a fun game because I actually have no idea who in this movie do you think is going to die next. Oh, I think the uh, the guy who escaped. Uh, yeah, that's what I was going to say too. Like really schizophrenic guy. Yeah, the uh, yeah, the one you were talking about how he looks. I'll say yeah. Okay, we'll go him. Or one a... of those like. Hot heads. I was like, I heard Freddy Krueger, a guy named Krueger, killed him. Who the hell this guy's wearing? I think he came he over looked, from the filming of Batman and Robin. I was just about to say, dude, he looks like one of the fucking guys from Batman and Robin. <laughs> he that, was that, on the same at set. The motorcycle rally. And Joel Schumacher's like, hey, get over here. We're filming. He's like, no, I'm in this movie. He's like, no, you're in ours. By the way, check out our Batman and Robin movie commentary. Okay, I think we're wrong because clearly this chick's going to die now, right? I hope when she gets killed, it's like, why won't you take off this hat? And they take off the hat, and she's bald. She's like bald, and he's like, oh, I get it. Before Jason stabs her, he's like, look, I gotta ask, what, what is what's with the hat? <laughs> she's oh, actually, like, what's with the mask? It's a funny story. <laughs> I hope she. Well, she no, I how I got these scars. Did she just throw that cigarette? I mean, I hope it's been raining because if it's so dry. Yeah, man, that's someone's crops. And if you know murders are going around, why are you walking by yourself into this? 
It's like there's no way she would be a target. It's not like the guy killed the person the next room over from her a few nights yeah. ago. What is she even looking for? Her dead boyfriend's head? Chris's head? Where are you? Like, what? I, <laughs> I have a hat that will keep you warm. I'm, I'm ready to finally tell you why I wear this fucking hat. Oh, she... There needs to be a... Oh, there we go. There needs this to be a is, line. This is like classic Freddy Krueger, dude. This is like, when I think of him, this is how he murders people. He creeps in the shadows. There's this dim red light. Does her hat say loose? That's what I was trying to read. I missed it. Is that her? Oh, don't. Don't, bro. Oh, my God. Why does this guy look like the dude who hosted the party from Tron? <laughs> Again, maybe they were filming that Batman Red Robin in this at the same lot. It's just economical. Why did you even go in there? Oh, she took the hat off. Bad things are about to happen. Put it on. <laughs> I'll, I'll say this. Is this movie great? No, but I'm enjoying it. Oh, yeah, you have to take this shit for what it is. Like, I love that. Like, first of all, you know this. I love bad movies. I love bad horror movies. I love people getting their shit rocked. I always root for the villains. It's more fun. Absolutely. Does anyone find these movies scary? That's the question. If I don't know. Scary. I think you watch them for the kills, right? Because that's like yeah, the you cool watch part. It. And you watch it because it is ridiculous. It provides entertainment. It's short. How did Freddy get upstairs so quick? He just he knows this place like the back of his fucking hand. <laughs> this is always creepy. I loved when the he does. Scar on my wrist and a more one. No, the story. Freddy Krueger's like, I noticed you lost your hat. Would you like mine? <laughs> so that's not even him killing her. If we're going by the jigsaw philosophy, right? Yeah, he's like that. This is his, as a lawyer, I can tell you that's that's the defense right there. He was like, I was just walking towards her to see how she was doing. This is actually disturbing me way more than anything else. This glow. Yeah, this is the only fucked up thing. Ronnie, you do something about this. I think he's the one telling the guy to do it is the problem. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no, Cycli, he's literally doing that at my direction. I don't think you understand. Uh, she's alive. I hate to say, like, based on the Texas Chainsaw Massacre with Jessica Biel and every other movie I've ever seen, hiding in the locker is not effective. My thing is, like, why stay stationary? Like, why pick a place and, like, you know, just keep moving? If you're the villain, too, I guess he has to decide, all right, do I care enough to try and open, like, all these lockers? I mean, he's obviously, like, a mystical force. Like, he's not dumb. So is she opening it, or what's... Yeah, did she go in there to only push it open? Here's my other question. What if she closes herself in the locker and he just didn't care enough? He never came looking for her. And that's when she died. Boom! Oh, what? is this where Jason gets there first? Oh, yeah. Fuck yes. That's actually really cool. And glow stick guy gets what he had coming. That was nice of Jason to... Okay, see, now it's a problem. Freddie and Jason, it's like, all right, dude, now we're infringing on each other's turf. Yeah, man, there's plenty of kids that go around. So wait, how does she just disappear right now? Actually, but in Jason's defense, maybe he's like, I was just trying to prevent the rape. Yeah, but how did that girl die? In the locker, she just disappeared. Oh, he stabbed through both of them. Jason did. But, I mean, but why did she disappear, though? Because she's not in her dream anymore. She's fucking dead. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, these are the guys that was like, these guys gotta die. The only thing that would make this movie better is if he was number 69. God damn it, I was just about to say that. I was about to go, why isn't he wearing 69? That's the way. <laughs> oh! All right. What the f <laughs> Hey. That'll fix that crick in your neck. <laughs> All right. That's pretty bad, Cycli. <laughs> and then when... When J... Oh, you think you're lighting him on fire is going to do anything? I fu this is how I fucking wake myself up in the morning. <laughs> nice little fire to kick you up. If he was environmentally conscious at all, though, he would... Look at that shot. Wow. So I guess, was that the alcohol from... His beer the, that caught him on fire? Pitcher. I don't think beer is that flammable. Definitely not. 
I'm at least glad that Ronnie you has the accuracy of like this is what would <laughs> this is exactly what would happen. Right. This is how this would play out. Also, this guy, I mean, he definitely Oh, oh shit. Dude, that was actually really fucking cool. That was a was this, <laughs> No, this wasn't in 3D. It was like Bly Buddy Valentine 3D, was it? God, we should do that one soon, too. I was... We watched that together. I was, I was hammered drunk. Yeah. I don't remember a thing. I Actually, I remember like one or two of things, but like, that was one of the drunkest I've ever been to going to a movie. Fuck, Jay even Jason's like, hey, the one thing I don't want to kill is the party. So sorry, guys. It's like, <laughs> I just want to hang out and all that keg is destroyed. J Jason's like, I'm just looking for Sarah. Guys, honestly, I don't want any of this to happen. This it's been a while. Clearly a case of mistaken identity. He killed that one guy because he's like, you're selling pot for too much. All right, now that the death is over, I do have a fun fact that I want to throw in here. 17 scripts were submitted, which eventually turned into one script. Can't hardly tell. <laughs> the producers decided for some time to go ahead with this script, but changed their minds as they could not agree with the ideas proposed. Eventually, the guys cycling we were talking about before, Pod, Damien Shannon and Mark Swift came in and created their own script, which was an amalgamation of the basic plot concepts. Producers felt was much closer to the Freddy and Jason backstories, and most of the earlier scripts dealt with cults that were attempting to resurrect Freddy and Jason to come back and fight. That's like I Halloween would... Resurrection, where like they resurrect Michael Myers and then are shocked that bad things happen. <laughs> Insert Pokemon shocked face. <laughs> what? Bringing back these bad guys, they kill us all. I'm I'm surprised. Like seventeen scripts makes me feel like did they just have seventeen writers and be like each of you go to your own room and come up with a script, or did they not all work together in a room and come up with one good story? <laughs> and like, let's be honest. How the only thing more pathetic than submitting your draft for Freddy vs Jason is hearing that it's not good enough. <laughs> yeah. Especially when this is the result. Was there like a competition that people could submit in the studio, pick 17 winners? Because even if you and I half-assed it or didn't give a fuck, we could probably throw our hat into the ring and come up with something. We could do this. Uh, Jason Ritter has given me like a poor man's Josh Hartnett feel right here. You getting that too? Um, give me the thicker eyebrows and higher cheekbones. God, they're not objects. What's going on here? Oh, shit. Oh, hey, there's a murder loose in the town, Dad. Just start fucking banging on the side of vans. In this town, it's always raining. So is he saying he saw this chick's dad kill somebody? Yeah, I think so. Oh, Damn, shit. this guy... How is he that much stronger than you? He's like 80, you're 60 I've years old. Sunk, you know, like, it's always weird to knock me out when, like, an 18-year-old is getting beaten up by, like, a 60-year-old dad. I guess it's like, you know, who who is the most motivated? Was this the house they were partying in at the Go beginning? Upstairs, yeah. It looks like it. Yes, of course she did, babe. Prove it. How what? do you prove... Um... Show me the death certificate. Yeah, I, I have it in my pocket right here. I have both. What? Why do you carry those around? Wait, he's lying about his job? His daughter doesn't even know? What, what about you is real, Dad? Mom's death? You don't work at fucking Weston Hills? How does she know so little about her dad? He's an enigma, bro. Does she not live with him? I love how the guy Will was like, don't go home with him. Weren't they, like, across the street? Can't he come in and help? <laughs> yeah, but he got threatened, so he's in the street. Also, close the fucking door. Can yeah, we're all going to... Look, I understand that there's a murder loose, but we're all going to catch cold. This is the most unrealistic thing, because everybody knows a dad cares, gives a damn if they, the heat's getting out. You don't yeah. mess with the thermostat. That's the main dad thing. Again, another window's open? Come on, guys. We only have one Earth. <laughs> we have one rule in this house. If the air conditioner heat is on... 
Her dad is fucking strong, dude. He just like threw his shoulder into that door and it did not stand a what, chance. What's his problem though? Like, if he cares, why is he being such a dick? I love how he went from let's talk about this to all right, let me make you comatose. Well, we can't do both. Well, remember how quickly they might have made up last time? She's gonna be like making out with him in five minutes. Her and Will need to just fuck to get it out of their system, and then let's get a plan, okay? She almost looks like Brittany Murphy a little bit. She does. Except with Josh, a very... It's like fake... off-brand Josh Hartnett and Brittany Murphy. Right, and Brittany and uh, great value Brittany Murphy <laughs> driving in a car together. <laughs> That's who Ronnie you got for this movie. Now I so, can't unsee that. I think they're too... So he goes, we can't trust any of the adults. I think they're too old to be making that big of a differentiation between them and adults. Like, these kids are all six months away from being 18. Yeah, does Freddy stop once you're 18? Is that Brian from the Backstreet Boys? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Is that? Seriously. <laughs> it might. <laughs> Holy shit. What's sad is it looks like Brian now. Maybe not in 2003 as much, but that's 100% older Brian. He's like, who's in the shower? I just need to get some floss. I'm definitely not yeah, trying to... Because we said he was going to go. I hope this guy has the fan on in the bathroom. <laughs> I'm picturing the uncle we and home. We were home. wrong, though, because that one shit got killed at the cornfield party. And we fucked up. I was picturing the uncle in Home Alone, you know, when he's taking a shower and it's all steamy and Kevin goes in there. <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking at, you little pervert? <laughs> it is the same movie universe, I believe. Yeah, with the furnace. Wake aid? Like caffeine pills? Man, I'm tired. I need some wake aid. I saw that coming. The closed mirror and then the, oh no, the last caffeine pill. Hey, bro, plot twist, you're already asleep. Dude, you, this guy, when you're this miserable, just accept your fate. Like, just go. There's more blood. That, okay, so that's got to be, what's that, 15 gallons at least oh, of it? Yeah. Now this, guy's be, this guy's being very rude. It's like... Now, this might be the worst scene in the movie right here. Yeah, CGI is a little rough. What are those, his tendons? Ew. This is very bloody. We need more blood. The only way this could get worse is with those snakes. <clears throat> Just, you know, hold your breath. Is this their van or did they steal this from someone? I don't know. It's a pretty rocking van. Though I feel like if you did steal that van, it'd be very obvious to find. <laughs> yeah, what's the description of it? Uh, okay, you're going to laugh. You're gonna. It's not mine. <laughs> it's my off. friend, I swear. Is this like his uncle or someone who killed himself? Freddy is close enough to kiss him. Freddy is in a bad mood, okay? Like, Jason stole a kill. He needs this more than That's, you do. Yeah, honestly, J Jason had that whole party of people to kill, and he did. Why did he have to go get the one chick who was asleep? I get kill the guy who's raping her, obviously, but you could have saved her for Freddy. Damn, slow motion. That's an effect that some of the Saw movies use. This right here, like the sped up. Do you see that? Like, that just fills my heart. Like, did you see how happy Freddy was? Dude, he's been waiting a long time for this. He was probably still at half expecting Jason to come in and... Oh, that's so gross. Cool. For them to see that, it's pretty traumatic. <laughs> Get it? Because it's on his back. I was going to say, there's, this works on a few levels, Freddy's back. <laughs> Ronnie, you, you dog. Man, you are so creative. Guys, I have an idea. It's like, sir, I have the autopsy report on the glow stick guy. Turns out he was related to Guy Fieri. Not now, Johnson. God damn it. We closed down the school. Well, the, can you imagine being a kid at the school, how jacked up you'd be? You know what we should do? We should have a rager in a cornfield. So they're basically gonna like barricade the whole town in till we find Jason. What do you think Jason does during the day? Like, what's he doing right now? Is he at like a coffee bean working probably, on his novel? Yeah, he probably goes to like a local Starbucks. You know, 
Brooks on his paper he's writing does a crossword. <laughs> he goes and sits by the lake, feeds the geese. I don't you and I love angry police chief. <laughs> and he's of course smoking a cigar. You're on thin ice, Johnson. You don't play by the rules. <laughs> Like, can you stop pointing that cigar? All right, I'm going to look up what else that guy's in, and we're, we're going to see, like, yeah, what jokes are meant Please do, here. because he is way too familiar. He's, like, I not good-looking enough to be a lead, but he's, like, got a very memorable... He is Lachlan Monroe... He is in 236 acting credits. Holy shit. Wait, what was his name again? Lachlan Monroe, L-O-C-H-L-Y-N. He's currently in Riverdale. Um, let me see something we would know. He was in the new Predator movie. Huh. See, that's weird because I, I feel no, like I'm... I'll keep going. I'm trying to find he's got he's got so many TV credits, it's like He was in a TV movie in 2016 called Revenge Porn. <laughs> Not, yeah, I, I would like to watch that. It's nice that he's like convet telling everyone what's going on. Yeah, dude, actually, no. Oh, yeah, here he is for exposition. He's like, look, I know that I look like I've been in a lot of movies, but if you look at my filmography, you won't fucking recognize any of them. He's, like, I drink he's, he's gotta be the next to die, right? If he's... Yeah, maybe. I mean, Jason's definitely showing up here, right? Well, well. also, I can't decide if it's gonna be the cop or the stoner kid who's randomly there, who I... You know, I don't know why he's a part of this group. God, that's a nice shot, Ronnie. That's it. Ronnie, you, knows what he's doing. Look nothing at that. Nothing's done Look on that. Accident. Not, you know, like you said, uh, great value, Brittany Murphy. Yeah, but the val she's Brittany Murphy with like all her the money in her family's like CD invested in her tits <laughs> and little, still a lot. little product placement here. You like that? Is that Sprite or Seven Up, man? Oh, it's Sprite. There it is. Yep. So this is an important scene because this is explaining what plot we have. Freddie brought Jason back, and what do we need? Some sort of sacrifice. A virgin. Like, Jason's not even thankful. Did he? Did he say thank you once? Honestly, I don't think so. Hey, hey, man, thanks for bringing me back. So she's a virgin. We're supposed to believe that. Yeah. See, I would be like, I'm a virgin. I no one would believe it. I'm like, no way, man. This is clearly a dream. <laughs> Let's tie this bitch up. What? <laughs> that guy just had duct tape. <laughs> Like, that's the best, like, that's clearly not what someone would say. Tie this bitch up. Ew, and I know it's a dream, but that's gross. <laughs> Freddie is obsessed with becoming her dad. Isn't that the second time he did it? It's like, call me daddy. I, I'm sorry, but even for 2003, rape is too much a part of this movie. <laughs> <laughs> like, Can't fall asleep, Brittany. I ah, Van Gogh'd you. I mean, uh, 400 years yeah. ago, that'd be romantic. What did that turn into? Like maggots? Yeah, that's what it looked like. God, that's artistic as fuck. I pulled that out of my dr Uh oh. Anything's possible, bro. This is actually an inspirational story. You could do anything. What? I don't know if that's really what Freddy so That's it. For. They figured it out. If they can bring stuff in from the dream world into the real world. Hypnosil. That's the drug. Buy stock now. I, it's going to fucking blow. I like the guy who named Hypnosil. Oh, now we have the internet. That's weird because a second ago we were at the library like a couple fucking cavemen trying to look up information. <laughs> I like the article has a picture of the bottle of Hypnosil. Oh, it's used for... Of yeah, suppression of dreams, but then it, it like, does something else. There's, like, a bunch of side effects. It, like, makes you really horny. And, of course, this cop's ID works at any building in the city. 
<laughs> Dude, there's nothing I love more in movies than, like, security guards. I mean, has one ever done his fucking job? No. I always love, like, they have always this advanced technology that the, the police department. They, like, motion sensor, like, radar on where the person is. I'm like, man. They it's really invest in their security. Oh, yeah. This stoner is definitely dead. Because he, yeah. yeah, 100%. But hey, it's Don't worth it for, a for a J break, you know. What did you say? He said, "Let's take a little J break, you know," which clearly means smoke a joint. No, nah, dude, that's illegal back then. Come on, Walter White, great value brand, <laughs> security guard. <laughs> He's not even holding that gun right, dude. Does your gun weigh thirty pounds? There we go. Yeah. He's a like I like this cop. Do you think he survives? Someone's uh, I I do. I have a good feeling about him. He has his wits about him. That's the thing in these universes, and I think we need to do more of the Friday the Thirteenth movies because you don't have to be the smartest person to live. You just can't be the dumbest. <laughs> Which is this is R. Kelly's basement right here. <laughs> I was going to say, that's a very low bar, because there's always, like, really dumb people. He's like, well, we might as well grab some pamphlets while we're here. Yeah, that's true. I feel like R. Kelly would really like this movie, which how much, like, rapey vibes there have been. Is the, What is on that sheet that he's reading? It says they're in a coma and they took too much hypnosil, but it's written in that plain English? Because that, you think like a doctor would... Patient <laughs> took too much hypnosil. Is in coma. coma. Be back after lunch. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's acting like he's never smoked a joint before. Like, <laughs> I love smoking Oh, pot. this is weed. Awesome. <laughs> I'm so weeded out. Wow. CGI much? This looks good, actually. I'd be freaking out. What the fuck? Was Damn. Like a Star Wars character? Job of the Hutt's dick? George Lucas is like, and then Jabba's dick comes in and he starts, he's going to smoke hookah with it? What? <laughs> I don't, I don't know, man. I, uh. What was Ronnie's vision here? All right, we're going to have Jabba. And, and ja Jabba yeah, Jabba's, dick. Jabba's dick comes in and smokes him out. And then he leaves. <laughs> Why does he want to follow it? I don't know. Man. That was it, what? and it's got its own journey. And why does he have to lure him out of that room? Like, what's in that room? Oh, he just wants some, to freak him. Out. I'm guessing this guy smoked and then passed out in there. Yeah, it was some indica. Which is too bad because he was really enjoying that joint. Not that I know anything about weed. <laughs> I don't know where the hypnosil is. Okay. It's like, you gotta appreciate, like, Freddy's work. It's not, like, about the kill. He, like, goes for the scare, too, you know? It's like, it's not enough. You know, if these these guys on the gurneys, they were like, hey, pour the hypnosil down the drain. If I'm him, I'm like, oh, shit. They, they were just friends a second ago. Dang. <laughs> Talking about deep throat, am I right? Hi-o! Ronnie Cycli, everybody. <laughs> Is this yeah, all the hypnosil? Is. is this all the hypnosil in the world? Oh shit! Oh god! So, Freddie wants them to dump the hypnosil. Oh so, like, no, the cock! He yeah, might be okay. He might be okay. No, mm. just, he can survive that. Yeah, four to six weeks, maybe. Yeah, shoot him. That'll work. Yeah, Honestly, a good feeling on that cock. He died heroically, maybe? What? Shit! <laughs> Hell! You don't even cuss correctly. Fucker! Hell, fucker! <laughs> I'm glad the tranquilizers are clearly labeled. <laughs> Say what you will about this insane asylum. They clearly know how to label and yeah. write on their charts. Very descriptive. You could tell someone got a label maker for Christmas. There's got to be another place to get hit. Can you get hypnosil over the counter? Yeah, why is it so secretive? <laughs> so Jason doesn't care about the hypnosil, just Freddy, yeah, right? Jason doesn't give a shit about anything. Like, 
Freddie's out here getting hurt, like, oh, man, those are my kills. Jason's like, dude, whatever, go do your own thing. I think there was something else in that joint this guy smoked. <laughs> Freddie's like, you didn't even say thank you. Jason's like, first of all, I never asked to be uh, come back. So that was on you, man. Oh, this is cool. So, because this is like Freddy, like Freddy wants a piece of Jason. He's basically playing like uh, VR with this kid's body, right? Oh, yeah. Jason's one weakness is tranquilizers. We forgot about that. He still would have enough energy to slay. Yeah, there we go. Oh! <laughs> Split you know happens, man. God damn it. You know the strength it takes to slice somebody in half? Yeah, you, you can't skip, you know, arm day. Like, you gotta go twice a week. And the back, too. So now the cool part, Jason's asleep, so now he can fight Freddy, right? Oh, yeah. We finally get the versus portion of this. How far in are we? We're uh, an hour. An hour, four, four minutes. minutes in, yeah. It's only it's like less than 30 minutes to go. But they got to set it up, Cycle. You can't just fucking... Build, build, build. Does your steak come out before your salad? No. I mean, sometimes. <laughs> what if, what if that actually happened? I'll have a steak, um, and then after. After the, app, that, the appetizer. Oh, he's bringing Jason's mom into this? That's low, dude. God, that's, you can't bring the moms in, man. That's not cool. That because that's like a He's different type. Narc. Of, seriously, that's the one knock on Freddy. Goddamn narc! Can't trust him. I never cared about getting in trouble in high school, but it's like if someone's like, "I want to tell your mom," you're like, "Come on, bro." That's just. Also, hey, Freddy, we get it. You like the the red lit uh, inside of the water tower? Get a new fucking venue, bro. Oh, that's like telling Nolan Ryan he can't throw the fastball. You chop Freddy's arm off. Damn. He's like the Black Knight in uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. It's exactly. Just about to scratch. Just about to flesh wound. Did he just give the, like, jack-off signal? Of course. No one's ever tried to go hand-to-hand -hand with Jason. Oh, I don't know if Freddy had this kind of strength. Welcome to my nightmare. That had to be in the trailer. Like, first of all, Freddy, like, what are you so pissed off about? Like, you brought him back. Like, I just don't feel bad for him. He wanted this. Freddy has an unfair advantage, too, because he can just do anything he wants. Like, he better win this. It's like a home game in the playoffs. Be careful what you wish for. It should have been the tagline. Ooh, the hump move, of course. God <laughs> damn. You know, parts of this movie have actually been pretty good, and then the parts are like just Ronnie, you man, like what are you doing? What is this scene? So we're the, this is it's called iconic filmography. I wonder if there were people in theaters like the Freddy fans who were like fuck yeah, and the Jason fans were like bullshit. Oh man, look at your ass kicks, <laughs> Kurt Surrender, Cobra all over the. <laughs> yeah. What? It would never happen to Jason. Freddy, if you think this is over, bro, you're way mistaken. If he thinks he's, it's over, he's dreaming. Am I right? Can, like, what, is, what has happened to you? I don't even recognize you anymore. Ooh, Jason's like... Jason. This Jason's like, they had us in the first half. I'm not going to lie. Oh, the aesthetic changed. Wow. What a shot. Oh, you know, Freddy hates green. The DJs, they're like, guys, can you stop fighting? I'm trying to set up. We have a bot mitzvah at six. What is this, a timeout? Because you're out of timeouts. I just wish they were like, guys, let's work together here. We have one purpose. That's true. Kill all the teenagers. Cycle, yeah, this is your bit about him being afraid of water. We're back to this. Yeah, which makes no sense. I mean, okay, so like. If the, in the other movies, other Friday the 13th movies, he's not as scared of water. I, there was a, I was reading about this. This is a direct contradiction to other movies. So they just kind of worked in this one. Ronnie's like, I need a reason for him to get scared. Uh, water, yeah. 
Oh yeah, so they're going to Crystal Lake, and what's their? They want to revive him and have him fight Freddy. Yeah, and they're going to bring Freddy. I'm assuming, and I think I remember into the real world because she realized she brought something in with her last time from the dream world to the real world. Okay, so at least Ronnie, you got it from this point. Like, I think pretty much the rest of the movie, the last twenty minutes, is them fighting. God, poor Jason, man. He's like freaked out, dude. He's like, oh god. Oh, God. It's a little tremendous. So, Jason, I guess, drowned with the hockey mask on. I don't know if I knew that. I don't either. Poor Jason. This is kind of sympathetic. You ugly little God. shit. Wow. Okay. Ugh. Freddy, again with the moms. Has he mentioned your mom one time? Dude, no. so fucked. You know, I, you know what? I understand Jason now. I understand why he wants to kill people. Freddy's just a dickhead. But again, you made the choice to bring him back, and now you're being a dick. Ew, don't do that. Uh, don't do that. That is very gross. I don't like I, that. What? What is... Why? God, what are this some is, of... This has gone to a whole nother... This seems like a good time to give a few fun facts. Uh, the $25 million budget in the film was the highest in the Friday the 13th or Jason franchise to date. But it was all spent on boobs and fake blood. Correct. The fake blood must have been at least a third of that. I'm guessing, though, based on the way that that fact is written, that maybe the Nightmare on Elm Streets had a higher budget than that at one point. Also, uh, Rob Zombie was offered to direct, but he turned it down to work on House of a Thousand Corpses. Ah. Oh, boobs. Oh, missed it. So you get for reading your fun facts. They're running out of tranquilizer, guys. So how much, how fast does this tranquilizer go through his body? He's like Bill Roman out, or like Conseco and steroids. Just shoot me up every inning. It should have been shot up in the ass. I would have done done better. Guys, I don't know what the plan is, but I can tell you this. Stopping the car is probably not in anyone's best interest. I mean, did they get to Crystal Lake? No oh, timer. How much you want to bet that whatever we need to do, we do with like one second left. So she's going to sleep to go into the dream. Yeah, to get Freddy. Got it. Okay, that makes sense. So it's kind of like the Matrix now. Oh man, it is. Did you know Camp Crystal Lake? According to this, was only for ages eight to twelve. <laughs> is that what that says? That's what the sign. It says that on the sign, like into the camp. Where are the fucking counselors? All the kids having sex. So, like, we can't have teenagers anymore. Yeah, no one that understands what that is. Okay, so there's no counselors fucking anywhere. Mm, there they like, are. Are we, is she, is that, are we getting them to be sympathetic to Jason now? So the counselors are literally fucking... What the them. <laughs> I love how his shirt says camp counselor. And are they just banging with his shorts on? Like, oh, shit. That's inappropriate. Is it always this, like, sexually? What's I, the I, word? I need to go back and watch the Nightmare on Elm Street movie. It's just like a, it's perverse doesn't even describe it. It's it's like, and I don't give a fuck. We know that. I just, it's kind of, did not know it was like that. Nothing is more attractive than the Freddy Krueger banging some chick. Oh, I actually have a fact about this lake. Uh, the lake at Camp Crystal Lake was also being used to film the final scenes for X-Men 2 at the same time this movie was being filmed. And the film's casts even stayed at the same hotel. So Wolverine could show up at any moment. <laughs> is that where for, Freddy got his claws? Probably. He's like, hey, when you're done with those, can I borrow them? Like, okay, I'm going to say this. Whoever wrote the, these people who wrote the movie were clearly pro-Jason. Yeah, I mean, they depict Freddy as a huge asshole. Jason's kind of altruistic. Like, Think like, about the guys he killed. Him. He killed Trey, who was obviously, like, just a dickhead. He really was trying to prevent that girl from being raped he, in the corner. Yeah, exactly. Field. He saved her. But they're just showing he was bullied and forced into his life. He had an awful mom. He's bullied at camp. It's like, dude, I get it, man. I kill teenagers, too. 
So someone has to go underwater with them. What if that girl, when she lay down, was like, guys, I am sorry. I just cannot fall asleep. I had a caramel macchiato like 30 minutes ago. <laughs> I, my mind is going a million miles. Uh, blah, 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 blah. God, okay. Sorry, sorry. Uh, do we have any white a white noise machine? Why would there be a white noise machine? Oh, they're actually Netflix on. I can't fall asleep. <laughs> yeah, preferably like an episode of The Office that I've seen before, because it'll help me doze off a little bit better. Okay, I love falling asleep to The Office, but anytime I do, the the intro always wakes me back up. Blibble then, blibble dibble then. It's always ten times louder than the rest of the show. <laughs> oh shit. You guys are shocked that that happened? Hey, let's wake Jason up and see how he reacts. Jason's like, sorry, I'm a light sleeper. The red light is advantage Freddy, though. Holy shit, he can swim very powerfully. Is that when they're going to wake her up? Yeah. Oh, hoo, hoo. so she has to hang on to him. This isn't good. Oh, I guess they can't wake her up because they just flipped and went into the river. Yeah. You know, Kelly Rowland has not been that great in this movie. So why does it say Lake Crystal Resorts? Isn't it? I mean, not that it's a big deal, but isn't it Crystal Lake? That's what I always thought. Here's Father of the Year again. Oh, here we go. What do you? What now, Dad? More lies about like? Is your name even Dad? He's like, I can't no. even think about. Ever since our last kiss. Dude, honestly, if that if the camp counselors get to just like fuck on the front porch, every high schooler would want to fucking work there. Yeah, think about the applications. <laughs> Are you comfortable with fornicating in front of 30 kids? No. Oh, yeah. Get it, Daddy. So his dad, like, straight up murdered his mom in cold blood, and they thought it was no. a car accident? No, Freddy. I think they're saying Freddy was manipulating him. Mm. I do remember this scene vividly for some reason. With the floor. This is probably when he took the two-minute break from making out for the last hour. And then you start watching... That's happened to me before. You start watching the movie. You're like, what the fuck is happening? Like, oh, this is kind of like, what's going on? Like, I can't explain an hour, ten minutes to you in, like, eight seconds. So there's some fire that takes place, and that is when Freddy comes in. Because I'm telling you, there's, like, a cinematic shot that you could tell Ronnie Yu was like, dude, this is the fucking money shot right here. He's like, don't ruin these perfect breasts. <laughs> Maybe that's why he didn't make movies after this. He's like, I'm ending out on a high note. This is the way to finish a career. <laughs> All right, there was a lantern somewhere for some reason. Damn, that table's stronger than that dude's torso was. Hit him with a chili pot. Kelly Rowland, she's giving it her best. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude. Look at that shot. Hasn't he used that line like three times? <laughs> He's not here to come up with something new, man. He's busy. He can't come up with something new every single time. What if Lori says that? Welcome to my world, bitch. I mean, that, you've said that to at least two other girls you've killed in this movie. Yeah, again, rape is like a really prevalent part Jesus of this. Christ, film. Christ, man. It's, it's kind of absurd. USA! <laughs> oh, God. Dude, stab that thing through him. He's not using his legs at all. These That's colors the... don't run. Oh. Oh, there's that fire you've been getting excited about. Did the kid just get thrown into, like, a hanger thing on yours? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you're going to burn her hand. Don't do that. Oh, I, I was hot. Yep, here comes the cinematic shot. Yeah, because I don't think Freddy has ever been in the real world. Oh, he's scared. So this is it right here. This is like the shot where everybody's like, did it, did it. Why can't they just be like, hey, hey, man, calm down really fast. Like, look, these kids are doing, like, they're, they're doing this. They're forcing us to fight. Like, let's go get them. Oh, my nards. 
That would the way Ronnie you had the script supervisor run the dialogue. That would have been the next. If if George Lucas wrote this. George. What about the women and the children too? <laughs> I'll say this: Camp Crystal Lake. Like any thought of rebuilding it is just going to be out the window after this. No, you know they will. You know they're going to come back, and kids are going to want a job where they can have sex freely in front of kids. That's true. <laughs> you know someone's about to die when they say just a scratch. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, just leave me here all alone. No, I meant that. I, I, I didn't actually want you to do that. I just, I just said that. No, that was kind of the part where then you make your pitch how you won't leave me. Yeah, no. I was, oh. I was way to die, though. Yeah, but if I did that, I would kind of die, too. Ah, oh, fuck. I didn't think of that. You're right. <laughs> he said it was a scratch. That's why I left. This kid, there's, again, half the 300-gallon uh, blood budget. Again. How many times do you think, like, an actor came back from makeup and Ronnie Yu was like, I, I want more blood on you? Yeah, what is that? There's enough. See, there you go. Focus on the actual bad people, the kids. Oh. He's like, Kelly, oh, you're not Beyonce. I'm not really... I'm yeah, hey, you know what you don't have in Dreamworld, Freddy? Sassy black girls. Watch this. Oh, again, all he sees... Whoa! Did you I... see that was uncalled for? That was very uncalled for. Jesus Christ. Why is everyone afraid of her? Whoa! Again, ah! that, yeah, this dialogue is very dated. Dark meat. <laughs> and that word. Anti-gay, and racist, Jesus Christ. It's almost like Ronnie Yu was like, how many people can we offend in 30 <laughs> seconds? Yeah, I'm really not shocked that he hasn't done shit since this movie. Wow, she is insulting the shit out of him. How How has this thing somehow... Even for, like, the psychedelic dream sequence, it has gone off the rails right here. Are, like, they're talking about, they're making fun of his dick. Like, that's really what's happening? Oh. How did, they, how did the machete not cut her in half? Like, how did it just... Kia, I am shocked our plan of getting the two murderers together is resulting in more debt. You know what the weird thing is? I think they bring out the worst in each other. <laughs> I would love them to see them to team up, and the teens are like, you know what? We messed up. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> Look, I'm I'm man enough to admit when I'm wrong. Oh, the acting here at the end is pretty bad. <laughs> and this is the scene you got to sell it with, too. I just don't think Freddy could do anything to him, right? Like he's not doing anything. But, you know, you have to make it look like he's getting a fight in edgewise. That's the problem with these two fighting is, like, if they're in the real world, Jason just has a huge advantage. If yeah. they're in dream world, Freddy has a huge advantage. They need oh, a this, third film. Uh, this could be beneficial. All these things, of course, still work. They have a lot of fucking... Uh, I just, I just think that I, I, if I was a uh, Nightmare on Elm Street fan, I'd be like, dude, this is so anti-Freddy propaganda. How much did Jason's family pay? The Voorhees is. Probably. I mean, we all know the Voorhees estate, you know, is not hurting for money. Bullshit, man. Like, make them equally evil, at the very least. Don't make me sympathize with one. Because Freddy is racist, clearly a rapist in this and movie. And he just called him an asshole, too. So he uses a language. Ooh, the rebar. Dude, you can't just stand there for that. Jason is really overconfident with his pain tolerance. So does Freddy also have super strength? Because you can't just push that thing off of the tower like he did. I mean, yeah, it seems like it. <laughs> the blood, would blood spew out of your body like that? According to Ronnie Yu, and he's an expert. Right. Yeah, just grab that thing and move it, because it only probably weighs like a metric ton. 
I feel like, you know, honestly, at first, and I think this is where that 17 script issue showed up. It's like, at first, the movie was like, I knew we were getting something bad, but it was like, it wasn't that bad. It was entertaining. The last 20 minutes here, the last 30 minutes have been awful. You know, sadly, the story actually was kind of cool when they like weren't together. Yeah, like, like that's what I'm saying. It almost feels like it was completely two different styles. Like they're at this point are they're just making fun of themselves. Like like I said, the, the dick jokes and all that kind of stuff. It's like it's which for a franchise that I already don't think takes itself too seriously is a pretty telling sign. Yeah, I, but I think there was definitely two movies being filmed at, at first, and, and they went on a different path towards the end. Because I'll be honest, I was having fun with this, but now it has really started to drag here. Like, and the fat, sad part is, it's as it should be its most exciting. Yeah, this They're is why everyone paid four thirty five back in two thousand three <laughs> to come see. Uh, one thing I'm, I might try and link in the description too. They actually made a sequel to this. Um, I think it's a comic sequel, but it also involves Ash from the Evil Dead. Oh. It's for, which I'm not a huge Evil Dead fan, I but I know a lot of people are, and it's called Freddy versus Jason versus Ash, <laughs> versus Michael Myers versus right. Myers. Just bring them all in versus Hellraiser. It's like just it's Super Smash Brothers just with all the villains and every. Uh... Oh, he got the machete! Damn. Oh, uh, it's like Lord of the Rings right here. They cut the ring off. Like, they did not train for this. Like, Freddy, man, like, you, sh you were supposed to practice. Uh, he's taking it to Jason, man. God, it's crazy how you go from hunter to hunted so damn quick, huh? If only Freddy had an ounce of strength. He's, like, hitting him with the machete a thousand times. Nothing's happening. Oh, Jesus! Man. That is kind of his thing, though, right? Gouging out the eyes. Yeah, you are you glad that he respects tradition there, you know? He's like, look, I'm not going to do you like that. If I'm going to kill you, I'm going to make sure it has my signature thing on it. Here comes the, Olympi the Olympic torch. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> <laughs> Go to hell. He's like, I've been there. He's like, I will. Buffalo's just up the road. <laughs> This seems excessive. Like, you're at the camp right now. Yeah, you guys got to get going. Oh. Ugh. Damn. How does Jason still even have anything left? It's the playoffs, dude. You, Everyone's banged up right now, you know, as I've said before. They're almost just like, it's like tennis, right? They're letting each other volley back and forth. <laughs> yeah, All right, I'll rip your arm off. You shove my machete into my large intestine. Again, I just don't understand why they can't be like, guys, why are we hurting each other? Yeah, if they just stop to talk for one there second. There are a hundred million teenagers in this country alone. We the enemy of my enemy is my friend, right? Well, we both just want to kill teenagers. Yeah, like, Freddy brought you back. Jason, you say thank you and you guys go on your way. Damn. What was that, like a nuclear ripple like effect? <laughs> I guess, and, and look, I'm saying this just to be funny, not to like actually pick apart the movie, but why was there a 700-gallon propane <laughs> tank at this summer camp? Yeah, what kind of camp? Why was? do we need that much? How many fucking hot dogs are we grilling? <laughs> I can't know. That's like, un all honesty, that is not even to be funny. Like, that's a, gen just a genuine question. Did they both survive? That's bullshit. Cycling, it was a foolproof plan to get underwater. Does she have a tramp stamp? Yeah, looks like it. Might as well be a bullseye, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's, it's, it's a tattoo of Freddy and Jason, so, so she can remember. <laughs> we saw a great fight. Jason's like, I think we parked in 30-minute tow parking, so we're going to have to move that. Oh, it's Freddy. That was kind of cool. Like, you didn't know who it was. I mean, he only has his left hand. Oh! Did they kill him with his own? That's cool, dude. Okay. Wow. 
So Freddy he with has the machete and Jason got him with the fingers. Little role reversal, right? That'd be like Kobe passing the ball and John Stockton shooting it. <laughs> what are your last words going to be, huh? Choose them wisely. My own hands. Oh, take the head. Cut the head off. You won't. That machete is looking pretty dull. Yeah, some of these is sharpened. Yep, use his own phrase against him. That's perfect. That'd be really funny if she completely missed. And like he's like the softball. Like she, the guy's like, oh, look, honey, let me let me do that. No, why? Because you're a man. <laughs> I just think I'm less injured, maybe. Even Freddie at the end of it is like, come on, just keep your eye on my neck. Lower the shoulder. <laughs> As a director, when you go slow-mo shot, it's the sign that you're very cocky slash confident that this is like a big-time shot. So they both die in the lake, right? I'm, there's no there's no way they live through this. Is Jason like, no, of course not, man. I mean, that would be impractical. There's no way. How would they ever survive this? Jason's like, God damn, Camp Crystal Lake. Like, well, in the event he does survive, we might as well give him his yeah. machete back. Yeah. We don't want to asshole. Give that back. Don't keep it. <laughs> She's like, what am I going to do with this? I don't uh, even have... Sir, you drop this. I live in a one-bedroom apartment. Where the hell would I even store this? It's so dull. I don't even want to keep it. So this is, what, days late, months later. I actually remember this scene in theaters, and I was like, <laughs> please don't. What is Mist, basically, this is oddly sexual. You know the way uh, Jason comes uh, out of the water. Yeah, Jason's like, man, I am. <laughs> this is why I don't have health insurance. I my body is indestructible. Yeah, you'd be you'd be away. He does need vision and dental, though. He's like, thank God, my machete was thrown back in. And now this is what kind of leads you to believe that maybe maybe they've patched things up. Maybe they had an underwater chat. Wow. Wow. Look at that wig. My God. Wait a second. I thought he was dead. And that is Freddy vs. Jason, directed by Ronnie Yu. Nothing gets you in the Halloween spirit more than watching some teenagers get murdered. Ronnie Cycli, what's it been? Probably 15 years since we last watched this. Yeah. What were your thoughts on a rewatch? I'm ashamed to share a name like Ronnie with that guy. <laughs> Burn like it. I said, honestly, like, you know, it's been a long time. I knew what I was getting back into this. It was as ridiculous as I thought. But I will say the first half of the movie was a pretty entertaining. And, you know, for a horror teenager genre like that, you know, slasher flick really wasn't that bad. The second half really took a turn for the ridiculous. Yeah, I had a lot of fun in the beginning, yeah. and I think the plot was actually kind of clever in the way that they were like able to weave in the, what Freddy's, you know, obviously uh, ability to murder in this in people's dreams was versus Jason in real life. I gotta say this: this makes me want to do for Halloween like another Friday the Thirteenth movie, but not so much a Nightmare on Elm Street. I because I kinda do. yeah, go ahead, sorry. Because I was just gonna say I enjoyed the the Jason stuff like him walking around killing teenagers a lot more than, like, the, oh, I'm in a dream, and now my tendons are attacking me. Yeah, see, my thing is, I kind of want to, I want to do both. I want to see A a Nightmare on Elm Street, because I want to see, especially the originals, not, you know, not the, like, 18 they did after. Right. Was the originals taken more seriously? I can't remember. Maybe I haven't ever seen the original. I don't know. It's been so long. I think Johnny Depp is either in the first one or the second one. Because, you know, if you think about the first Halloween, the very first Halloween was taken really seriously and got a ridiculous in the, like, the latter stages, right? The, the, I have to imagine the very first Nightmare on Elm Street, if it was taken a little more seriously, I it could be really entertaining to watch um, and see if it, you know, it's one of those movies that are iconic, right? So I, I give it a watch. I want to give it a chance because some of these, like, you know, Halloween H2O and Freddy vs. Jason, they're obviously just made to be ridiculous. Geiger loves Halloween H2O. Yeah, it's still ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Josh Hartnett actually is in that. Actual Josh Hartnett, not great value. <laughs> not, not great value, Josh Hartnett and Brittany Murphy. That was at its prime, right? When we had bagged cereal, Brittany Murphy, and great yeah. value Pop-Tarts, Josh Hartnett driving in the van. 
Uh, All right, well, comment below on what else you want us to do as far as Halloween movies. This just kind of gets me in the spirit, though. It's slasher horror. It's campy. It's fun. For our legal counsel, Ronnie Cycli, I have been the Mayor Jeff Hornacek, and we are the Bro for Squad podcast. Thank you guys for checking us out. Follow us on iTunes, Spotify, and YouTube. Just search Bro Force Squad three words. Check us out on Letterboxd as well. See all the movies we've logged and our reviews. Follow us on Twitter at Bro Force Squad and check out everything that we are doing on our website, BroForceSquad.com. Until next time, we will see you guys later. You know what I'm mad about? The back of the DVD literally says, Freddy Krueger is in hell. Literally. We never got that scene. I wanted to see what hell was like for him. Is Freddy Krueger happy in hell? Is he suffering in hell? What is hell like? Maybe hell is Philadelphia, when the, especially when the Eagles aren't in the playoffs. <laughs> He's like, get me out of here.